got a new video for today. But first, in the last video I put out, I had said I had made a mistake when I was building something, and you guys were quick to find it. It was one of the gussets on the compressor bracket. I totally wasn't paying attention, and I welded it in the opposite direction of all the other ones. But I've since cut it off and re-welded it. So that's over with, and I guess on to the next part. So in today's video, I'm gonna be building a new front bumper, and that's because the original bumper I have right here, it's, it's more of a street truck style bumper, and it's not really gonna look good on a lifted truck. So I wanna build a new bumper, one that's more stout than this. And to do that, I'm finally gonna answer the question that I keep getting asked all the time, and that's, why is the frame so long? Why does the frame stick out so far in the front? Well, that's because when you're building a truck like this, you can't always plan for every single detail. And the front bumper, I knew I was gonna build a front bumper, but I didn't know exactly where it was gonna fall on the frame, so I just left those sections of the frame extra long, knowing that I would cut them off in the future once I decided how I was gonna build the front bumper. So we're finally to that point, so I guess let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is make a cut along the inside of the frame rails. Before I can cut completely through the frame rails, I wanna weld in this new cross member, which is a piece of six inch channel that I've notched for the intercooler and it's gonna hold the frame rails together once they're cut apart. Here's that cross member all welded into place. It's also gonna be the point at which the front bumper is bolted to. So now we just need to build the front bumper. All right, here's the front bumper, some assembly required. And as usual, I'm gonna start with a piece of poster board as a template. Since the piece of sheet metal I had was only four foot long and I needed the bumper to be about five foot long, I'm welding an extension on each of the ends to make it fit the shape that I want.
Okay, this is gonna make up the top portion of the bumper. It's gonna sit right on top of the frame. Next, I just need to build the back half of the bumper, which is gonna bolt to that cross member. Next, I need to bolt this in place so I can weld the nuts to the back side of it because once the bumper is built around it, I won't be able to access the nuts if I ever have to take the bumper off. Here I'm setting the top portion back into place and I'm using some paint sticks as shims to keep the top piece off of the frame rails by about an eighth of an inch. Now I'm cutting the front portions of the bumper. This is gonna be the driver's side and I need to put some bends in it. And in order to do that, I score the lines with the angle grinder and then I bend the plate in my vise. And here's what that piece looks like all bent up. Now I just need to weld all these joints to add the strength back into the piece. That piece is gonna sit right here, so I tack it into place. Here you can see the bumper is starting to take some shape so now I just need to make the passenger side. To do that, I'm reusing the template from the driver's side, which makes things a lot easier and also ensures that both sides are symmetrical as long as my marker doesn't die. I need to bend this one up just like the driver's side and to do that I head over to my vise and I give it a pull. When that doesn't work, an adjustable hammer works great for giving me the leverage that I need to bend this to the right angle.
right, here's the passenger side, all bent up like metal origami. Now I just need to weld all these joints to add the strength back into the part. That piece is gonna sit right here, so I tack it into place, and now it's really starting to look like a bumper, so now it's time to build the middle piece. That piece fit really well, and after a few good tacks, I'm happy with the way that it all looks, so it's time to pull this bumper off and completely weld the entire thing. As I weld this, I'm staggering all my welds, and I'm only running about a four inch bead at a time, and that's in order to keep the bumper from warping from the heat of the weld. Okay, here's the basic shape completely welded. Next, I'm gonna spend about two hours with a grinder cleaning up all of these welds. Okay, here's the bumper with all the welds ground down. I think it's starting to look pretty sweet and now it's time to start adding some accessories to it. Okay, I've got two of these one inch shackles and clevises that I wanna weld to the front of the bumper, somewhere in here, but in order to do that, I gotta bevel the backside just a little bit so that they'll sit straight on the bumper. Okay, that's what the front of the bumper is going to look like with those attached to it. And since no plate bumper could be complete without some round tube attached to it, I want to bend up a small hoop to mount to the top of this. For that, I'm using a piece of inch and a half 120 wall DOM tube that I want to put a couple bends in using my homemade tube bender.
All right, here's that piece of tube all bent up. Now I just need to trim the excess and weld it in place. All right, now that that's tacked into place, I can pull the bumper back off so I can weld the entire thing, and then this bumper will be done. Alright, before I bolt this bumper into place, I want to add some gussets to the back side of it because that's going to add some strength to the clevises should I ever need to use them. Alright, here's the completed bumper with the clevises and a hoop on top. I think it looks really good, so this project is done. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. I think the bumper turned out pretty stout. It looks like it could handle a deer hit at about 90 miles an hour, which hopefully that day never comes, but you never know. As usual, I'll have another video in about a week, so watch out for that. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe below, and I'll see you next time.